morning everyone. I am here today to present an in-depth overview of the bacterial species, Clostridium botulinum. We will look at its habitat, morphology, cultural characteristics, biochemical characteristics, as well as its host range, virulence factors, mechanisms of antibiotic resistance, and epidemiology. I hope that you find this presentation informative and helpful. Clostridium botulinum is an anaerobic gram-positive bacterium that is capable of producing the powerful neurotoxin botulinum toxin, responsible for the rare but life-threatening illness botulism. The toxin itself has various medical benefits, but severe effects on the nervous system can occur if ingested in large amounts. Due to its public health implications, it is a frequent subject of research. Clostridium botulinum is a bacterial species known for its ability to produce the toxin responsible for botulism. It is found in soil, the sediments of freshwater bodies, and the intestinal tracts of animals and fish. An anaerobe, it thrives in low oxygen environments, allowing it to contaminate food products with its toxin, resulting in a very serious foodborne illness. Clostridium botulinum is a rod-shaped bacterium with measurements of 0.5 to 1.5 micrometers in diameter and 2 to 20 micrometers in length. It also produces oval or spherical endospores which are capable of enduring even the toughest of environmental conditions. Clostridium botulinum is an anaerobic bacterium requiring a low oxygen environment for optimal growth. It can grow in temperatures between 10 and 50 degrees Celsius, and thrives on media like reinforced clostridial medium and cooked meat medium. With an optimal pH range of 4.6 to 9.0, Clostridium botulinum is a hardy and dangerous organism. Clostridium botulinum is a strictly anaerobic bacterium that is incredibly versatile, capable of fermenting a wide range of sugars with acid and gas as metabolic end products, and also producing a variety of enzymes such as proteases, lipases, and phospholipases. With its great potential for causing food poisoning, it should not be underestimated. Clostridium botulinum is a bacteria that can cause the potentially fatal condition botulism in humans. It is capable of infecting a wide variety of hosts, from animals to humans, and poses a severe health risk if ingested. It is important to take proper precautions when handling food to protect against infection from this dangerous microorganism. Clostridium botulinum is a bacterium responsible for producing a potent neurotoxin, botulinum toxin, which can cause botulism, a severe and potentially fatal illness in humans and animals. There are seven different serotypes of toxin, with A, B, E, and F being the most common. Ingestion of even trace amounts of the toxin can have serious health repercussions, which makes it important to exercise caution when dealing with food and beverages. Clostridium botulinum is a bacterium commonly known for its role in food poisoning. Though generally susceptible to antibiotics like penicillin, metronidazole and tetracycline, some strains of the bacteria have developed resistance as a result of overuse or misuse of antibiotics. This resistance is a significant threat to public health and must be addressed. To minimize the spread of antibiotic-resistant bacteria, it is important to use antibiotics correctly and only as necessary. Clostridium botulinum is responsible for producing a toxin which causes a rare but serious illness known as botulism. The toxin can be ingested through contaminated food, be contracted through wound infections, or inhaled. Approximately a few hundred cases are reported globally every year. Treatment of botulism requires supportive measures and an antitoxin to counteract the toxic effects. Early diagnosis and appropriate medical treatment are of utmost importance for a successful outcome. Clostridium botulinum is a dangerous and powerful bacteria which produces botulinum toxin, a powerful toxin that can be absorbed into the bloodstream and transported to different body parts. It then prevents the release of acetylcholine from the nerve endings, resulting in muscle paralysis and possibly even respiratory failure. Knowing the severity of this bacteria is vital in preventing and treating any potential cases immune system of the body responds to the presence of C. Botulinum in a number of ways. 
production of antibodies against the toxin is a humoral response which may provide some protection from future exposures, but the protection is limited and may not last for long. Clostridium botulinum is the bacterium responsible for a serious and potentially life-threatening illness known as botulism. Diagnosis relies on identifying the clinical symptoms in the presence of botulinum toxin. To confirm the diagnosis, mouse bioassay and ELISA tests can be used to detect the toxin in blood, feces, or food samples. Early diagnosis and effective treatment are more likely when individuals are aware of botulism's potential dangers and symptoms. In order to prevent botulism, food handling and processing must be conducted properly to avoid Clostridium botulinum contamination. This necessitates employing the correct canning techniques, keeping food chilled, and ensuring it is cooked to the appropriate temperature. Additionally, as a protective measure, Honey should not be given to babies younger than one year old. Antitoxin is capable of neutralizing the toxin and preventing further damage, and supportive care such as artificial ventilation may be required to help with breathing until the toxin wears off. I'd like to thank you for your attention during this presentation about botulism.